This week, the World Health Organization released new guidelines recommending a biannual shot for HIV prevention. That same injection was also recommended by the FDA last month. So here now to talk about how this shot works and its potential is someone who headed its clinical trials. Dr. Jose Bazan with the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So first off, there are a lot of stigmas as to how HIV can be contracted and what it does. What is the actual science on how someone can get infected and what the infection does to the body? Yeah, so that's a good question. You know, um, so HIV can be transmitted through sex, uh, all through, uh, also through sharing uh, needles. Uh, that are contaminated. So, you know, in, in patients uh, who acquire HIV and uh, are not under treatment, uh, we know that the virus can actually uh, really have a very negative effect on their immune system and can then put them at risk for infections and other complications down the road. So to put things as simply as we can for our viewers, what is this injection and how does it work? Yeah, so, you know, we know that uh, there are medications, actually medications that we have historically used to treat HIV. And these medications we now know, or we actually have known for some time now, that they can also be used to prevent HIV. So this uh, latest development, uh, as you had alluded to, uh, it really was the approval of a medication called lenacapavir, which is an injection. Uh, it's given every six months, and it really showed remarkable results uh, in, its, in its ability to prevent uh, HIV. Is it much different from daily pills that are on the market to prevent HIV cases? So interesting question, you know, the, the two trials uh, that looked at this medication, Purpose 1 and Purpose 2, those are the name of the trials, uh, really showed that this medication was superior to daily oral pills. Um, so, you know, this, uh, this really is a game changer, you know, in the field of HIV prevention. And as you can imagine, um, you know, when you're thinking about individuals who perhaps may have some difficulty taking a daily oral pill, so, so adhere is an issue, um, you know, now we have options to give them, uh, including long-acting uh, long injectable medications for which lenacapavir uh, is, is one and the latest one to be approved. Are there any big side effects that you've come across and how is the success rate for the injection? Yeah, so the success rate, um, you know, really in the two trials was over 99.9%. So, so really, really remarkable. Um, the medications were really well tolerated. Um, you know, the, the, some of the most common side effects, uh, perhaps not unexpected, was uh, what we call injection site reactions. So things such as pain, uh, redness, uh, development of a nodule or a bump at the injection sites. Um, however, very, very few patients um, really uh, remove themselves from the trial because of these side effects. You know, they, they really were mild to moderate and overall the medication uh, was well tolerated. You mentioned Game Changer. How promising is this now for HIV research and prevention as a whole? Oh, this is very promising. And, you know, now, Really, uh, what we have to look forward to is can we get this medication, which we know works very well, can we get it to the individuals or, or the people that need it? That, that's really going to be the next challenge. How do we implement this game-changing uh, um, drug uh, out to those who need it the most? And, and we really have to put a big effort uh, to make sure that we do that uh, correctly and, and quickly. Dr. Jose Bazan, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.